A sunny summer day in Florida, that means outdoor fun. But for your health, you should try to avoid too much. More than one million cases of skin cancer are diagnosed each year, and most of them are sun-related. The sun's rays are UVA rays and UVB rays, which cause damage to your skin. It can also cause early wrinkles, skin cancer, and other skin issues. The sun's rays are most harmful from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Skin cancer is most likely to occur on parts of your body that are exposed over and over again. So during this time, you should try to stay inside or in the shade. When you're in the sun, wear tightly woven fabrics or UV-proof clothes to protect yourself from the sun's rays. The best way to protect your skin, though, is to wear a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 15. Apply frequently to the hands, face, neck, and ears. Something you might not think about is wearing sunglasses. Wear sunglasses that block 99 to 100% of the UV rays. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer. Nearly half of the cases in the United States are sun-related. So be smart and cover up. This has been Morgan Craven reporting for KTV. Have you ever wanted to be a part of your school forever? Well, now's your chance. As a fundraising event, you can personalize a brick with your name to remember a loved one or to recognize a current or past LCMA student. The bricks will be used to build an outdoor classroom, and the money earned from the brick sale will be used to help build it. The fundraiser is a follow-up to the previous brick sale, which helped build our memorial courtyard. If you'd like to purchase a brick engravement, you can go to the office or go online to lcmanightsonline.com for more information. But the deadline for all brick orders is May 15th. So make a difference and leave a legacy at LCMA that'll last forever. I'm Morgan Craven signing off for KTV. Every year, Lawton Child students have a chance to find great books at the Scholastic Book Fair. And even if you don't like to read, you can still check out plenty of the other cool things like computer games, how-to kits, and for all you aspiring chefs, there are plenty of different types of cookbooks. This year, Lawton Child's Book Fair will be held from November 14th all the way to November 23rd. But there's a lot more to putting on a book fair than meets the eye. It takes a lot of planning and definitely a lot of volunteers. So let's talk to our school's media specialist, Ms. McDonald, about what goes on behind the scenes. Thanks, Ms. McDonald. Well, now that you know what it takes to put on this event, you can't miss out on the fun. This has been Morgan Craven, signing off for KTV. It takes a lot of money to fund the clubs, programs, and parties that the PTSA provides for LCMA students. Without the money we earn from fundraising, some of our favorite activities, like pizza in the park, honor roll party, and other activities wouldn't even exist. Our PTSA has a fundraiser that runs all year long, and you and your friends and your family can participate in it. You can purchase gift cards and gift certificates from many local stores in the area, such as Crispers, Starbucks, Old Navy, American Eagle, and so much more. If you'd like a complete list, you can go online to LCMA Nights Online and click on the script gift cards order form. Our school earns a portion of every dollar from the gift certificate purchases, anywhere from 2% to 18%. So if you'd like to purchase one, they're available anytime in the office. So what do you have to do? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go online or go to the office and get an order form. Then you attach your check or money order and turn it into the office. Within about five days, you're going to have the gift card in your hand. Well, I've shown my school spirit. And I'm totally enjoying my Starbucks gift card that I bought from LCMA. So come on, LCMA, encourage your family and friends to show your school spirit. He outlawed marriage for his upcoming soldiers. But seeing how wrong this was, Valentine went against the emperor's orders and secretly married couples. King Henry VIII declared St. Valentine's Day an official holiday in 1537. There are so many symbols that are connected to Valentine's Day, but the most well-known are the Cupid, Heart, and Roses. In Roman mythology, Cupid was the son of Venus, and he used magical arrows to cause people to fall madly in love. Red roses symbolize love and passion. Traditionally, 12 roses is the ultimate declaration of love. And the heart, it's associated with the feelings of love, because we give our hearts to those we love. Not only is St. Valentine's Day the holiday of love, but it's also pretty good for business. 
More than 1 billion cards are delivered, 35 million heart-shaped boxes are sold, and 90 million red roses are sold for Valentine's Day. So students, who do you think buys more Valentines? Men or women? If you thought more men purchased Valentines, you were most definitely wrong. More than 85% of all Valentines are purchased by women. Now boys, I think you need to try a little harder this Valentine's Day. This has been Morgan Craven reporting on location from Hollis Gardens for KTV. Hola, El Cime. Buenvenidos a nuestro programa de Español de KTV. We're here at the LCMA 8th grade Spanish field trip, seeing Justo Lamas in concert. Throughout the show, we'll be teaching you how to speak some Spanish, letting you in on a concert, and giving you some Spanish music. But of course, we'll be going back to the studio for some announcements. But until then, as usual, please stand for the pledge. Este es el final de nuestro programa. But don't fret, we'll leave you with one of Justo's songs. Adios, amigos! time so far. I know my favorite part was getting to skate. <laughs> so what was your favorite part about ice skating? Uh, probably like spraying people. Making people fall. Okay. Now let's see what some other LCMA students loved about this trip. <laughs> well Mr. Sears, did you have a good time skating? Yes, I've made one cycle around and it took me 35 minutes. Okay, well that's all the time we have for today. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. You got me you got me by the fall, Mr. Young. <laughs> This week's question is, ¿Qué te gusta hacer? That means, what do you like to do? So that's what we'll be asking LCMA Spanish students. But there's a twist. They can't say their answer in English. Eighth grade Spanish students got a unique learning experience this year. They got to go on a field trip where they could hear and taste the Hispanic culture. Mm. Ay, que bueno. No, that's what I call culture. <laughs> Students spent weeks preparing for Justo Lama's concert, but first they had to dig up a little background information about him. He's a singer from Argentina who performs for Spanish classes all over America, and he made his way to Lakeland performing at Florida Southern College. Once they knew a little bit about him, the fun part came. It was time to sing. Students learned and translated some of his songs with groups in class. Then they had to perform it in front of everyone. As easy as it may sound, some students had some difficulty. <laughs> and a few even got some stage fright. After making posters and brushing up on the songs, they were ready for the concert. A major key to learning the Spanish language is learning the Spanish culture. And they say that you can tell a lot about a place's culture by the way they cook. Cooking is one thing they do very well here at Abuelos Mexican Food Embassy. The concert was amazing, the food was delicious, and we learned a lot. What more could you ask for in a field trip? Two thousand eight. It's coming around fast and you still feel like it was just yesterday when you made your New Year's resolutions for two thousand seven. What happened? Where'd the time go? Well instead of dreaming about your goals all year, just get up and do it. The first step to reaching those new goals you have is simple. First off, don't make your goals New Year's resolutions. Sounds kinda weird, but it's actually a pretty good strategy. Most of the time, when you think of a resolution, you think of things that you have to do, instead of all the things that you want to do. So instead of doing the same old resolution, this year, do something fun. Change your mindset to a more positive one. Step two, make sure your goals are practical. They need to be something that you're going to commit to. A lot of times, writing down your goals will often help you remember them. Step three, be ready for setbacks along the way. No matter what your goal is, you're going to have something that blocks you from reaching it. So instead of getting angry or frustrated, just learn from it and get past it. So start 2008 off right. Get out there and reach your goals. I'm Morgan Craven signing off for KTV.